we have to integrate cosine cubed times the square root of sine x solution. So um, whenever you have powers of cosine and sine and you have an odd power, you want to save a copy of the odd one. So in this case, we're going to save a copy of cosine. So this will become cosine squared x, the square root of sine x, and then we're saving a cosine. So I'll write it over here, cosine x dx. Now you could probably think about this problem and reason it. It's, it's pretty easy, but uh, as a general rule, whenever you have sines and cosines, if you have sine to the m to the nx, cosine to the mx, uh, just save a copy of the one that's being raised to an odd power. Once you do that, u will be the other trig function. So in our case, u is going to be sine x, right? Because we saved a cosine, so u is sine x. The problem with setting u equal to sine x is that we still have a cosine squared here. So what we'll do is we'll use identities to clean this up. So cosine squared is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. Then here we still have the square root of sine x. And then here we have the cosine x dx. All right, let's go ahead and make the substitution now. You can keep simplifying here, but it's better to just make the substitution. So du here is cosine x dx. The derivative of sine is cosine. All right, so making the substitution, we'll end up with 1 minus u squared, right, because sine x is u. Square root of u. Um, let's write this as u to the 1 half because we do have to distribute at some point. And then this piece here, this is your du, so du. All right, let's clean this up. So distributing the u to the 1 half, we get u to the 1 half minus u to the 5 halves du, right? Because if you, if you add 2 plus 1 half, that's really 2 and a half, which is 5 halves. Okay, now we can integrate. Um, that's a 5 halves there, so 5 halves. Let's uh, integrate this. So we add 1, so we get uh, u to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves. But when you divide by 3 halves, you really multiply by 2 thirds, right, the reciprocal, minus u to the 7 halves. But when you divide by 7 halves, you really multiply by 2 over 7 plus c. The last thing to do is just plug your u back in. So here's u u was sine x, so we end up with 2 thirds sine to the 3 halves power of x minus 2 over 7 sine to the 7 halves power of x plus c. And that is the final answer.